Okay, YouTube, this is Puck. Um, we are in Corora, Corora Linux. And I just installed it, in fact. And, you know, um, yeah, you know that I'm a Linux Mint, Mint user. And I was like, let me take a look at it. And, in fact, these guys did exactly what I was talking about in the desktop uh, inspections that we had nice icons you know uh, this is the main desktop uh, you know really good looking icons they worked on 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 their look and feels um, also have a second uh, how you call it a panel here at the bottom so we can pin in apps just the way that I have kind of made my Linux Mint okay uh, only thing that I did change here I added to the panel uh, the original made uh, menu menu um, where is it somewhere here here you see this is the original menu uh, the the made menu so that's why I got this but then surprisingly I saw that they use the Windows 10 orb that disappointed me a little bit because in fact I can also not change it you see that they protected this part here so you know mint linux linux mint uh, gets an extra point from me just for leaving that possibility open uh, this system you know it's nice but you cannot really change it around you will have to deal with the icons that these guys give you and you know after installing this um, I, I, I spent almost 30 minutes uh, to find some app store in here that is not really available. There is some yum yum thing. I, I, I really don't understand it. You know, um, yeah. So this, I cannot say that this is for everybody. You know, I think that Linux Mint is, is, is way more uh, uh, easier to use for somebody that comes from Windows. You know, if you want to deal with all the stuff that they inserted here for you, and if you're cool with that, you know, then it's just fine. But I tried to, you know, configure a new laptop for Millie, my friend. This is her laptop. I just inserted a new drive, as you could see in my previous video. Um, but, um, in fact, she cannot even install Skype without knowing all Linux abacadabra. So let's be honest here. This thing is really nice, but it needs a decent software store that, you know, is not in here. Okay. So there is something that they call Yum Extender, but, you know, trust me, I really don't know what I should do here. I see many things here, but what is this? You know, what? what is it? This is abacadabra. People don't understand this. Not even I understand it. And I know a lot. Trust me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm having two Linux machines here. Doing all sorts of beautiful things. But not these things. I, I, I really don't under. This is to me abacadabra. Okay. So, I think that the look and feels of Yum is looking very nice. Especially with this uh, dock that pops up at the side. Um, it's it's nice you know it's not to me really necessary because it also uses memory but it looks nice okay so let's keep it on that I love the icons that they use they really thought of their icons so great thumbs up for that you know I think the icons of um, of Corora look better than uh, the ones from Linux Mint but uh, the power of Linux Mint to change that around uh, to your own and especially the start menu something that you're clicking a lot you know that is really a thumbs up for Linux Mint um, and a shame that Corora you know uh, took away the properties uh, here you know that is kinda yeah against the rules you know if this thing is made then up here I should have properties and I should be able to change this thing here. So somewhere here Corora did something that is not really um, in the made rules. They shut off something there. You know, I cannot get in there to change it. 
you know i can go here menus bewerken and but i cannot change the start orb you see i will have to look to this window start orb i feel it like i'm kind of cheating on windows here i made a, i made a concept with a orb like that but i called it windows 11 that was just a concept you see but this is like something permanent this is a system that is out there so i find that this this is not cool this uh, windows orb they should think of something else they thought of so many beautiful things already so that is uh, the only thing that i don't really uh, like but um for the rest i must say it looks good uh, i'm not gonna say uh, or demotivate the guys that work on this because this is also from fedora this is based powered on Fedora. This is like uh, the Lint, um, Mint Linux uh, for Ubuntu, but then the uh, for Fedora. So effect, yeah, but it's still very specific. Um, yeah, I think a normal user will not be able to, you know, install a simple thing like Skype. So that is kind of yeah disappointing. And that's why I'm going to kill the system again and uh, the system will get uh, Linux Mint. But not saying that Corora is not good, um, but just saying that Corora is not good enough to let uh, a user that, you know, is, you know, just a user and probably was on Windows um, to, you know, use Corora because these people will, yeah, kind of not find their way and will feel left out and will bother me again to change the system around to something really stupid probably windows xp or so so um no just kidding but this system is nice it's look it's looking good but it's just not um it's just not uh, good enough for normal people and i think it's great for uh the advanced linux user I think this is the way that uh, you guys should work on your Linux distributions. Uh, give it these kinds of beautiful icons, you know, think of the icon. I see that these guys really worked on, on the look and feels. So a really big thumbs up for you guys there. So um, yeah, don't let my stupidity for not knowing how to, you know, get around and installing apps, etc. demotivate you. Uh, make it uh, maybe, uh, uh, even simpler insert uh, 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 yeah official or you call it uh, app store in this thing like Ubuntu and you know that we just see an app store and that we can select apps and get things going you know install apps like Skype and so because you guys installed you know apps that you thought that we could use but in fact yeah I don't see Skype you see and Skype is something that many people they need it they want it and yeah if they cannot get it then the operating system is not good enough for them to use so think of these things um, try to insert Skype in this thing if it's not possible uh, get a store ready so people can in an easy way install apps uh, in this beautiful distribution oh yeah and do something about your start menu this was my review um, yeah i wanted to make this review before i'm gonna kill this system because i think this system looks amazingly good and i didn't show you anything yet there are other locations such as my computer look at these icons you know i blew them up a little bit but look at how beautiful the guys made them so look also here it's really easy to change themes around but in fact that to me is not you know um yeah in, in fact mandatory because if 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 i can have a app store and i can you know uh, if you guys kept to the rules of mate and i could you know change my start orb around then you know things would be already different then i would already have more belief in that i can get around with this system you understand so don't take it personal out there you guys i really love what you did and uh, keep up the good work and think of the users that don't have all the knowledge to uh, you know get things going uh, also think of them and see if you can make this a fantastic even better uh, distribution